Um, so the meditation is just under 30 minutes long. So I'm just, before I play that, and again, I strongly recommend headphones for this. Um, but before we go into that, I'd just like to talk a bit about what it is that I do, what it is that you'll be hearing. So I am a holographic sound practitioner and holographic sound, sound healing makes up like the bulk of my, my spiritual workings. Um, holographic sound is a multi-dimensional sound modality that was taught by Dr. Paul Hubbard. And he channeled this modality from some masters known as the Hathors, as well as Mother Mary, Saint Germain, and um, Archangel Michael, all had a huge role to play in, in bringing this modality back to earth because it had been practiced uh, long ago in the past, but we kind of forgot how to utilize those techniques. And so the kind of most simplest explanation of it is it's a it's a way of combining sacred geometry with sound to bring through sound in its multi-dimensional holographic form. Holographic meaning that it's hitting every single layer of consciousness that exists. And um, so it's very powerful. <laughs> Linear sound, of course, is very powerful. Um, linear sound makes up 99% of the sound that we hear. And obviously we all, um, you know, everyone has had strong reactions to music, strong reactions to even um, the sound of someone's voice, whether it's being used positively or negatively, we know that sound is very powerful. And when you bring it through in its holographic form, it's just very, very expansive and very uh, transformative. And so in addition to holographic sound in this meditation, you'll also hear some light language um, light language, it's kind of harder to explain. Um, some people ask me like, what does it mean what you're saying? And it, light language generally doesn't have a like one-to-one -one word in English meaning. It's just a transfer of quantum information. And your higher self really directs how that energy, how that information is being used within your body and within your aura. And so you can listen to a light language track once and be like, wow, that was so powerful. I feel so good. And then you can listen to it again and again and again. And each time you listen, you're actually getting different things from it, even if it's the same track, because, um, because it's a form of quantum information. It's like the way that your body and your energy field receives it is a little bit different every time, depending on what's um, best for you in that moment. So uh, that is the, the form of the meditation we'll be listening to. I recorded it yesterday during the new moon. Um, and then just before we get to, oh, another thing I wanna mention before I forget, um, if you at all feel called to sing along with it or make noise, hum, tone, anything like that, please do that. Um, that'll really help the energy move through your body. Definitely do that. Um, okay. And so before I play that, I did just want to share, um, see if I can get the screen share to work. Um, share. The Zoom bar is like hiding on my tabs. There we go. I just wanted to share my YouTube channel where I have a lot of my light language activations available for free that you can listen to. Um, there's different ones. This one is from Ra. This one is like a galactic light language, Lyran light language. I usually do like a galactic or a angelic or a Lemurian base light language. Um, so I just wanted to share this, different light language activations available on my YouTube channel, which is at Golden Soul Sanctuary. Um, 
And then the other thing that I am very passionate about that I've been working on um, is Organite. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with Organite, but just in case you aren't, it's basically like they're, um, they're like energy transformers. It's built on or based on the research of Dr. Wilhelm Reich, who back I think in the 50s was experimenting with energy and basically discovered orgone energy, which is basically life force energy or chi and uh, creating devices and structures that could be used to heal people. And his writings actually, what he was doing was so powerful that the government tried very hard to stop him. They made him destroy a lot of the inventions that he had made. Um, they made him burn a lot of the books that he had uh, publicized. So that kind of shows just how much of a, somewhat of a threat that I guess it was to the established order. And so I've taken the, the concept of Organite, which is these life force energy generators and using some modalities that I've recently been introduced to which involves um, basically invoking angelic energy and divine names. I've been charging organite devices with that energy, which has enabled them to become conscious. And so the devices that you're seeing here, um, they're really small, maybe like the size of a half dollar in width. Uh, they are solar consciousness talismans. And this came out of just a an inspiration to help people really merge with their higher self, the consciousness of the higher self. And that's what solar consciousness represents. And so both of these are somewhat um, solar symbols. And so these are organite devices, but they are also conscious entities that you can utilize to assist you in, in really merging with your higher self so that you can birth your soul in this lifetime. And so these are like pocket sized. Um, and I just wanted to show a couple of the other ones. Oh, thank you, Amy, for that, that link. I've also been making organite dragons, avatars for dragons to basically um, move through in, in physicality in a physical form, um, kind of doing different, different ones that I feel inspired by, ones that seem to be coming up. And so this one was inspired by the Magdalene dragons. It's a, it's a rose gold dragon. There's real rose petals in it. Um, it's a functioning organite device. And again, it's been charged with angelic energies. And in doing so with the organite, the organite kind of, um, it basically blends all of these energies together in order to create a, a, something that has a budding form of consciousness um, that can, that can be further developed. So this is just the, the rose gold dragon. Um, this is an earth and fire dragon. This one was charged specifically with, um, the, the angels Uriel and Archangel Michael to bring in the energies of passion, but in a, in a grounded sense. So really fiery passion, but uh, in a grounded way. And it's got an ammonite on the bottom. Ammonites are hundreds of millions of years old. They hold records of very ancient earth history. This is a custom dragon organite that I made for someone a few days ago. And then this is what I've called a divine vortex disc. This is about, um, I think, 10 and a half inches wide. And you can use it to, when you hold it, if you're sensitive to energy, you kind of feel like a, a very gentle energetic buzz go through the body. And it's clearing, thank you, Natasha. It's clearing the subtle energy blockages that you have in your body just by holding it like with both hands. And another thing that I've found too, is that when you meditate with this, say lying down and you place this on its stand, 
so that it's facing your crown chakra very quickly you find yourself in very deep states of um, consciousness extremely deep states of consciousness and what this allows you to do is have accelerated mystical experiences so if you're someone who likes to or is interested in like astral projection or just communing with your spirit guides things like that these this disc is a really helpful tool for that it's extremely extremely powerful so it's both a disc for um, accelerating mystical experiences healing the body and um this is the back side of it and uh for spiritual guidance as well um on the back side it has the star of inanna which is another solar symbol and it's also connected to venus um this is my other one and so this is a really good tool for especially healing practitioners to like assist your your clients basically to facilitate <laughs> to facilitate your healing work like i'm using this with my holographic sound work now just to help people really enter even remotely deeper states of consciousness and to transmit that angelic energy because it's a disc shape it's constantly transforming and generating the energy of spaces people and environments it's a very powerful uh device and i just wanted to share this part of my work with you all um this is kind of something that's a little bit new but something i've really dived into very heavily under the guidance of my spirit guides especially merlin um, and just creating basically spiritual technologies that i'm sure as we enter further and further into the age of Aquarius, this is going to become all the more common, all the more, um, you know, as other kind of more invasive, harsh modalities fall to the wayside, I really see these uh, more gentle, non-invasive technologies coming in. And so in addition to um, these aspects that I've just mentioned, they're also functioning organite devices. So if you live in an area where there's a lot of electromagnetic radiation, this is transforming that. Um, some people use organite devices to restructure their water. Like if you have this big water tanks, I'm not sure what they're called, like big water filter things, it restructures water. If you put your produce on it, it helps it last longer. Um, it's amazing technology. So, with that, I'm sure it would, Alora, stand out if it's connecting to you for sure. And um, I also forgot to mention that the meditation I'm going to play for you guys, I recorded, I had my crystal bowl sitting on top of the discs. And so I've never done that before. And so I kind of feel like that that energy is kind of going to be rippling through the meditation, which is really exciting. I haven't listened to it in full yet. Um, and so with that, I hope everyone has their headphones. I'm going to move on to the meditation. Let's see. So... Um, I just want to emphasize again, if you guys feel like you want to sing along, tone, hum, cry, smile, whatever, go with it. It'll really enhance the experience.
close your eyes and relax. And visualize or imagine a sphere of bright white light surrounding your entire body. And as you breathe, see yourself filling up with the beautiful white light of the sphere.
this path leads you to a sandy shore, the shore of a great ocean. But this is no ordinary ocean. This is an ocean of divine love and the water is a brilliant ruby red color. You step down off of the path and onto the sandy shore feeling the texture of the sand beneath your feet, wiggling your toes in the sand, enjoying the warmth upon your feet, listening to the waves lapping at the shore, feeling at total peace. of the 
ocean of divine love. The space they have prepared for you is a soft bed made of white sheets and a fluffy white pillow. They gesture towards you to climb into the bed and relax as they just wish for you to receive, receive the immense amount of love that they have for you. You climb into the bed and you find that it is so soft, so comfortable. Is like laying upon a fluffy white cloud. You lay down and relax. While the ocean of love gently rocks you into a deeper and deeper state of consciousness. Relax now any lingering tension that you are holding, releasing the muscles in your jaw, relaxing the shoulders, Relaxing your spine, releasing any tension in the legs, totally surrendering to this fluffy white cloud that bears your weight. Rest now. And allow the 12 archangels of the great central sun to bathe you in the unconditional love of the creator, the love of God, knowing that this love resides within you already.
breathing in and as you do, soaking up all of that energy that was just transmitted to you. Hold, see your body glowing with that white light. And as you exhale, exhale into your body, seeing your body glow even brighter. vibrating in harmony, peace, and divine love. So I just completely found a new daily practice. Um, I think I'm going to go to your YouTube channel and listen to those at least once or twice a week. That, that was incredible. Um, dang, I, I can't even. Uh, whew. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for that feedback. I'm I'm glad that you enjoyed it. And it's interesting. It it really uh it like works. It works for everyone, even people who like have no familiarity with light language or even spirituality. Like I I sent my YouTube channel to one of my friends and her and her partner. <laughs> they told me that they just listened to it for a couple hours, and she's going through a couple of different health conditions and. I guess they la left it playing while while they slept. And she said she woke up just feeling so rejuvenated and healthy. I was like, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Sashi. Wow. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I was actually crying. It made me cry in a good way. Like in a good way. Too. It always <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much for sharing your voice with us and your beautiful gift. Wow. Yeah, please check out her YouTube channel. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, um, I, think, um, yeah I guess I didn't mention this, but I also, I also offer a hug sound, sound, sound healing. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this sort of sound, sound can be used for physical, emotional, psychological, psychological ailments, ailments, whatever you're going through. through. Um, mm -hmm. Activate your chakra system. Chakra system. Just wanted, just wanted to, to include that. Well. Yeah, I highly recommend a session with Sashi. I've had a session with her. It's amazing. And yeah, definitely recommend that. It just it just shifts you into it. Your voice is so beautiful. It's like a voice of your soul. So mm -hmm. thank you. Yay.